Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Okami HD. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, and I've actually brought someone special with me. You consider me special? Not really, but, uh... Aww. We don't really have, uh, anything interesting planned. It's gonna go on for a long time with just me talking, but, uh... We just got some side quests and some straight beasts to pick up here. But first, we're gonna take care of this Konohana Bloom here. Restore Shinju Field. But first, Curse Zone! The thing about Curse Zone is that they will rob you of your ink, and they will rob you of your health as well, and they hurt a lot, so it's good to get out of there really quickly. Why are there Curse Zones everywhere? Have you been watching? Mm, you started the series? Yeah, I did, actually. <laughs> well, uh, what we have here is the Konohana, and uh, we're new to do here. Just go ahead and bloom it like we did the last one. And are you ready for this, man? <gasps> I'm so ready. Gives me shivers every time. The power of cherry blossoms. Yeah. Able to bring entire valleys back to life. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Yes, indeed. That's right, we're not going to progress the story at all. We're just going to do a whole bunch of side quests and just dick around. Oh, oh, I'm so glad you brought me for the side quest shenanigans. Yep, you're here to help me out. All right, so. <laughs> the only reason I'm here. I finally get what I'm good for. Those of you getting the platinum, here's another travel guide for you. It's always good to get the chest anyway. And now we're going to take a ride over here. I'm just wondering, how many collectibles are there in Grand Toa? I mean, I know there are a lot, but. There, there are indeed a lot. Yeah, and I hear some of them are missable. Only a couple of them. Well, you wanna... Well, uh, hey, might as well show these off. It's a bathroom. It's a demon gate. Ooh, demons. Can you summon them and befriend them? You cannot. You can only kill them. Aww. Well, hey, you know this means more demon fangs. Let's go for it. Whoa. Okay, you can't dash it. So, so more to... demon fangs. <laughs> you, have to actually, you have to actually walk in there. Eh, it won't be long to take care of these guys. Oh, and there you go. There's one. Sweet! So do you, like, steal their souls away? No, you just kill them and make sure that they never come back. Or you probably banish them, but I just like to think that they die. Well, that'll work. Makes me feel better at night. I was about to say, are those guys spitballing you? <laughs> no, they're, they're flautists for some reason. I have no idea why. I was about to say, the great Amaterasu defeated by a spitballer. The bestiary says that uh, they're portrayed as flautists, and that's for the game to decide just to why, not for me. Interesting. I'm pretty sure it has to do with yokai mythology, but I'm very rusty on that because there's just so many. Like, if you want real-life Pokémon, yokai is the way to go because it's actually real-life folklore. Pokemon is folklore? No. Yokai is folklore. <laughs> Pokemon is like Yokai, because there's a whole bunch of monsters. So Yokai is Pokemon. Kind of. What type? 
A lot. <laughs> ne 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 never mind, never mind. Battle's over. But uh, your prize for uh, destroying one of those demon gates is... having a whole bunch of scenery to bloom forth. And of course some praise. All of that for more flowers? Yep. Well, double gates, whatever. <laughs> Devil, demons. Well, you fight demons in that game. So I hear you can demons. summon the devil sometimes. Well, we've... Not in this game, at least. Well, we need to go up here. Ooh, more pots. What are you going to destroy somebody's pots? You, you even get you even get a trophy for that, seriously? You even get a trophy for that. For destroying people's property. Yep. This anyway, is such a Zelda. We need to go up here. See that nub right there? A little, little thing right there? Uh, dig, oh. that, dig that up. Oh! This is stray bead number eight. You didn't, you didn't sound very confident. <laughs> is, it, is it truly stray bead eight? It's our fourth stray bead, but it's stray bead number eight. Oh, okay. Those are demon scrolls. I explained those last episode, I think. And, uh, hey, we've got inducted this guy right here. Hmm. Ida here works for the Duncan Express. The character he's based on is a little more obscure and not quite as faithful a depiction as other characters that we've seen. This is Skanda, also known as Wei Tuo. He's a deva, a sort of Buddhist demigod, particularly of the Chinese Buddhism pantheon. He has many names in many tongues, like Wita Cheon, Murugan, and Hufa Wei Tuo Zutian Pusa. But this Ida is taken from his Japanese name, Ida Ten. But how's that for a bit of odd trivia? Remember that Traveler's Charm we got last episode? Totally. We're gonna give it to him. As you see, we didn't even really need it. I'm surprised he didn't say you were very charming. <laughs> Whoa, what? Yeah, he runs very fast. We're, we're gonna see him later. <laughs> He will help us get a stray bead and a trophy later on. But, but he was running like you! Can you explain that? He's, he's a very fast gentleman. <laughs> on all fours. Yes, on all fours. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this devil gate here. Another demon sword. Go for it! Oh, shit. Yes, the graphics aren't as good on the Wii version. And power slash. Better than PS2, though. Yep. It looks better on PS2 than it does on the Wii, really. What? Yeah. Get out of here with that. Seriously. What? I saw the comparison. I love doing that. Yeah, breakdancing is always fun to do. But anyway, we get more nature to love and, you know, frol Cherish. frolic in, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. Hooray! But also bunnies to feed. You have to feed animals? You have to feed animals. Huh. They take herbs. Aww. This is a bunny! Yep. So, you can, so with those of you getting that, uh, the animal trophy, you can scratch bunnies off now. I'll we'll probably take a look at this in episode 5 or so. I'll, I'll, you'll see next episode what I have in the store. But anyway, skip that. How many animals are there? Besides a lot. A uh, couple dozen. There's just quite a few. Hmm. You yeah. have to feed everyone to get a trophy? Yeah. Well, not, not everyone, every kind of one. Oh. Every species. Right, I need to head up here. Oh, see it right there. Oh, I see it now. There. Okay. Yep, right there. You gotta look very hard. They're much easier to see at night because they glow. So, <laughs> big old chest. And. Story beat number seven. Hmm. Cool. Yep. So, what do stray beads do, like, out of context? Stray beads. Well, of course, they give you a trophy at the end. Mm. If you collect all of them. But, uh. Ooh, clever. It also gives you invincibility on your next playthrough if you get all 100. Seriously? Yeah. So very good. Huh. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, it is. It's a reason to play the game again, at least. Exactly. It's totally wait, 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 does that carry over to hard mode? I think so. Dude! Well, well actually, I don't know. Oh, uh, not dude. We'll have to see. Hey, now we got a new enemy up here. Wait. Ah, I was gonna build that tree. <laughs> really? 
Because they're death ghosts. They're annoying as shit. <laughs> when starting out, they're annoying as shit because you don't have the power that really fucks them up. Oh, that's that's amazing. I didn't expect to see a flying fish. And better yet, I can't really think of uh, what his floral finisher is. I don't think we have the power yet. Uh-oh. Yeah. Then how on earth are you going to defeat the flying fish if you can't draw on him? The same way you defeat every other enemy? Well, when he gets lower to health, he tries to grab onto you and explode, so run oh, like geez. hell when that happens. So he becomes a kamikaze. Exactly. Huh. I wonder why the Japanese culture hasn't seen that as a bad thing. But that's not why we're here. Mm hmm. Why are we here? Because we're here to get this. Another travel guide for y'all. Orochi. And we're gonna go inside. Actually, we're not gonna go inside. Oh, he's sleeping. Yes, he is sleeping. Who's sleeping? The guy we need to talk to. So, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and. Right here, I guess. Well, I've heard people call it Susano. I know they're wrong, but. There, there's a the transition. There's your transition into night. <laughs> I love that. You can see like a a, a Vegas advertisement <laughs> showing you which city is which or which town is which. Well, so you don't get lost. Yeah, that's pretty great. There's a tree back there. I wanted to blow there. It is. But you got oh. distracted by the flying fish. I did. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Sometimes the bloom is a little bit finicky. It can be sometimes. Hmm. He's setting off sparklers, dude. I got that one too. So is there a trophy for bringing every tree back to life? No, but there is one for getting a lot of praise. If you fully level up yourself, which you can do by getting praise, that's how you get the trophy. Well, this is the guy we need to talk to. The bomb man. Tama here is a firework man. Clearly. His name comes from Tamaya, the two kanji written on his apron, but also named after an Edo period fireworks guild. And Tamaya is also an exclamation that you see when you see fireworks. Kind of like ooh and ah. Maybe. <laughs> Get it yet? Did you did, did you memorize it? I I, I I might have to see it one more time. Uh, is it really that easy to get moves like that? Early on. Early on, okay. I see. You ready for this? I am so ready for this. Let's see it. Quick, what do you do? Uh, draw an upside down Q. You draw a circle. Then you draw a little thing. Bomb. Come on. Wow. Oh my gosh. All of that in one firework? Aha, uh -huh, you were impressed. No way. Another one, yeah. Oh my gosh. Bakugami is the god of explosions. Baku, of course, meaning explosion. He is represented as a boar, and in Japan, a person who has the personality of a boar is said to be dynamic and explosive. Get it? That's yeah, kind of a stretch. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh, they're cherry bombs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Glad you enjoyed that. Oh, that was funny. That's what that's for. Da, 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 da. Actually, it kind of does play that sound when you do it. Oh, <laughs> it's a l it really does, doesn't it? It's a little bit finicky because I don't have the move. There's a good reason why I don't have the move controls. Because the move sucks. Well, there's that, and there's also because one one moment is ruined because of the move. And I think it's better if you have the slower analog controls. But we'll get there way, way later. Hmm. So I'm assuming you've tried the move controls. No, but I, I know what they <laughs> entail and I don't I don't fancy them. Okay. But we could go in there, but what I want to do is I want to just kind of slip down here real quick. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing, you madman? We got another trophy and there's just oh. one thing I want to dig down here. Well, would you look at that? And in here is not a stray bead, but a treasure. Treasures, huh? This is how you show you how uh, treasure chests glow at night. And if you see something glow in odds are it's worth getting, so... That's actually really cool. I'm, I wish more games would have, like, a beacon to see. And as you know, like right there. there's a treasure in here, but we can't get to it, because evidently leaves are just way too powerful for us. You can't we? blow them up? We can't, we can't do that. We can't blow them up. I mean, <laughs> Seriously? It just, it just does that. It's, it's, it's rock solid. We'll be back here later on in the game, though. We'll need to come back here. Okay, forget it. I was about to say this game's awesome, but no, you can't blow up leaves. Screw this game. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> oh. Then you got the rat statue. And what is that? Do you have to get all those Zodiac statues? You have to get all, all the treasures, and that's one of more than 13 treasures. I think that's a pretty common... Oh, shit. Hold on. There's even sub weapons. I love doing this. It's, so much fun. it's a little victory break dance. <laughs> so is that what happens when like Ami's in heat or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chases her tail all over the place. Yeah. Or break dance tail taste. There goes Ida. He's gonna be running around for a little bit. Can you catch him? Ah shit. Actually, if you really don't want to do any fights, what you do is go to one of those things, bash that in. And then whoop, oh, right through. There you go. Oh, that's cool. Does the scroll come back? The yeah, it's right lives. there. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of random encounters, except you can choose. Yeah. Which doesn't make it random, which means horses. my point is uh, nullin. We're going to feed these horses. But you're right in front of the bad thing. Now we're not. Now it's serene. Now you can scratch horses off. Check mark. Yep. I'm taking notes, so you better not lead me astray. I think I'll go back to sleep. Well, yeah. <laughs> thanks for nothing. J just in time to eat, and uh, oh yeah, th thanks hey, goddess. man, uh, Sega really wanted me dead with this game. I hate that kid. That took too much time. And now I got a pretty lake back. Oh, cool. You always get rewarded with double gates. And praise is always important. So you'll always get praise, and you'll always get a new batch of land, I guess. Yep, except this time you get a mermaid spring. What are those? Guess what? We're going to find out later. <laughs> Darn it! You teased there's, me, sir! There's so much mysteries in this game, though. Like, there's so many new elements. Like, you look, what's that do? What's that do? What's this thing over here? Well, this is a dojo. Oh. <laughs> what a pretentious sign. You know what that actually means? What does it say? It's an old Buddhist saying. It's about the impermanence of all life and all things. It's a very, very... <laughs> Agent saying. Clever. You know, yeah. <clears throat> now, you haven't seen the dojo scenes, have you? Oh, first, pigs. Gotta feed the pigs. Gotta feed the pigs. They like seeds. I never get it right the first time, ever. I thought they eat anything. 
I mean, they're pigs. They're not exactly picky. Well, they're snobbish pigs. Oh, <laughs> high class, raise the pinky pigs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They give you a good amount of praise. I could have made a day any time, but I decided to let nature take its course. In oh, fact, sure. it needs to be more day than that. Ah! Just have to make sure. So bright! Okay, into the dojo we go. We're gonna listen to moves. Show me your moves. This is probably one of my favorite characters in the game. Sensei! Onigiri Sensei. Sensei! This is Onigiri Sensei. He teaches you new moves. Onigiri, of course, is a rice cake and usually in a triangle shape. We've all seen this before, but Onigiri can also mean demon slash if we split the kanji apart. So, uh, that'll make sense when we talk to him a little bit more. Oh, absolutely. Sure! <laughs> There's so many old-fashioned terms. I love listening to these. You're a dick out of your jib, wolf! They all have personality. It's great. Alright, so, uh... Wow. We can only do so much, but... Fleet five, four wins. Let's see, uh... Uh, let's see. Rosary technique, we don't have the rosary yet. What's the rosary? We'll get to it. Uh, Golden Fury, that's a way to get Demon Fangs. What is it? Guess what? We'll get to it. Because if you want the trophy, you have to get all of the moves in the game. I was about to say what- Including one that is two million yen. Sweet. We only have 14,481. Oh, so, of you... course, we'll get that. Say it with me now. Much, much later. You gonna be grinding for so long? And I'm gonna make you watch every single minute of it. Aw, oh, man! Long. That means I'm coming back for the other collection video, aren't I? Yeah, but, I, <laughs> but what we're gonna learn today is Fleet Foot. It's really, really helpful, especially early on and you don't have a lot of health like I do. <laughs> he actually questions that you have cash. <laughs> Dogs had a lot of rights back then. <laughs> Able to carry cash, they can apparently say yes or no. Now you can't unsee his head. He's being upside down. That's insanity. Oh, I, no, I can't. Ah, oh, where'd you show me this? Quickly and without hesitation. So it's like a quick dodge move? Yes. Oh. You can only use it in combat, though. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, technique scrolls. That's the important thing. Get all the technique scrolls. How many are there? Roll your own moves. There's three dojos in the game. Mm. Okay. Each has their own moves. So that's a lot of money. Alright, so Fleet Foot's pretty easy. Hit R2. Yoink. 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 <laughs> oh no, the barrier! Actually, I can leave. <laughs> you just can't back out of it. He's gonna yell at you. He's like, oh, I can't believe you didn't train enough. And he gives you like food and stuff if you do train. But it like takes a lot. If you're in a hurry, you can just slow the move and leave. Once you get the technique scroll, that that's it. You don't have to do him anything else. Sweet. Waste the man's time. Well, that's all we need to learn for now. I can't unsee it. I hate you. But we have somewhere else to be behind here. Well, let me guess. You can't blow those up. Not yet. No, of course. Oh. Now you're looking, aren't you? Yeah, I can actually see it. So is it always between three shrubs like that? Usually. It's just little things to look for. you got to keep your eyes open, especially if it's stray bead number six. Ooh. I like how it always reminds you that you're going to get a special reward if you keep looking for these silly things. Yep. I don't have a whole lot of time here, so uh, I'm going to see if I can kind of blaze right through what we have left to do here. What do we still have left to do? Well, we can go ahead and show off where we need to go next and what is next. But first off, how about another travel log for y'all? Hmm. <laughs> you now know how to feed. And we're going to feed some boars. 
But I don't think I have the food. I need to buy more seeds, but that's okay. We'll do that later. God, I'm so bored of this. <laughs> well, Look, I'm trying, okay? The next area is right through here. This is how we get to the next area of the game. <laughs> Why do you have to jump out of the water so much? That's how I move fast. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Did you see, I can't get there yet. I thought you drowned. I did drown. Oh, jeez. But I'm still okay. How do you gotta drown the dog? What we can do over here, though, is another piece of blech, dead, dead, God, get that out of my freaking field. And it zooms back in like, look, you can bomb it. So we will. Do you get it? Wow, that wasn't even close and it still gave it to you. I can just cut that open. Oh, really? Coral! I mean, cool. Coral's cool. Cool coral. And... Uh, oh. So, no fall damage. That's probably for the best. Yep, no fall damage at all. It's, it's, it's grand, really. You are a god. What, what fall is going to hurt you? <laughs> if anything, you bring the fall. When you fall down to hell, yo. You know what also you bring? <gasps> Could it be? Stray bee number five. Brilliant! I think there's something on the other side, too. Hmm. But we'll check later, because we're going to go in here now. What is here? Something to get us started for something that we'll talk about later. But while we're here, I might as well do it. You have to be here anyway to continue on. This is Mika. He's just the priest of the moonshine. He's not from any sort of literature or anything. I was, I was so we can, just forget, we can just forget about him. To say he... You didn't look like no shrine maiden I've ever seen. Mm. He's a priest. No. Oh. So it he can't be hot. No, he can't be hot. We'll get we'll get to a hot priestess later. Everything's always later with you. I can't do things. Ne okay, never mind. You gotta take time. <laughs> take time for the good stuff. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Such a broad range of emotions for these people. This is a wanted list. There are oh my four, gosh! There are four characters in the game who have demons t uh, following them and tormenting them. They want us to take care of all of them for them. You want a trophy? You have to do all the wanted lists. <laughs> so wait, a priest has a hit list Go for, for demons following? <laughs> Go for, well, he can't take care of him. He's a priest. Okay, okay, good point. Wait, doesn't he have like sacred paper or tags he can put on them, like spell tags? Well, we're a god, so we can just go ahead and cut out the middle of for him. Save some paper. <laughs> yeah. You really are helping the environment, aren't you? This is a very nature-friendly game. <laughs> I mean, the cover of the box says nature adventure. It's a nature adventure. Exactly. Uh, that's a new one. Alright, so we can just turn around here and just leave, and a friend of ours is waiting right outside, because it turns to nightfall. Automatically. Automatically. And then demons show up. Oh, look! Somebody who was on there. Just to show you that, hey, this happens when you encounter someone who has an arrow stuck in them. An exercising arrow, is that really a thing? Yeah, do they believe in exercising arrows? Sure. Do they get buff? Sure. The best part about this is that you can just kill this guy and the encounter's over. So if you're in a hurry, just kill that guy. You will oh. fuck of this guy! I'm assuming it gets a lot harder later. Yeah, because especially when you don't know where they are. Oh, they hide. Yeah. Pretty much they spawn in a location that's not where the normal demon spawns appear during the day. So if you see one extra demon scroll at night, that's probably your man. Oh, you gotta be kidding. You gotta go looking for it like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We just happened to find it. Just happened to find it, yes. Well, it also wants to give you the satisfaction of literally... 
crossing, crossing it, off. it off. That's great. But it's really, really picky about it. <laughs> From so, left to so right, yeah, yo. So you have to be like, eh, eh, eh. There we go. That is brilliant. <laughs> Forget what I said about this game. This game's great. Isn't it? Until there's like one small detail that's out of place and then I'll shit on it again. Nah, I shouldn't do that. It does look pretty. Alright, so... We have to get all of those in order to get the reward, but guess what? We're not going to do that. What Unless... shall we do? Oh, so bright. We're going to let it be day. Except that. We're going to run into the moon cave. The last place we need to go before we can move on. Hmm. The moon cave, you say? This is wow. where the dreaded Oro Orochi dwells. <gasps> Orochi? Already? Yep. Hmm. Well, let's go take a look. Literally, Orochi is right in this mountain. If we wanted to, we could just go right inside and, and take care of him. And invisible wall. Uh, spirit barrier. Uh, a reflect. Really? You can go right up to it? And spirit barrier. Yeah! It even hurts, too. Oh. Yeah, we're better off staying away from this thing. Let's get out of here. So I must ask, Orochi, does it have a prefix of Yamatano? Yeah, he's based on the demon Orochi. Yamatano Orochi. Cool. Yeah. Yamatano Orochi. Hmm. Eight-headed serpent demon who was slain by Susanoo. And a lady gets turned into a cone, too. It's oh, wait, what? Great read. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes in drag, too. But hey, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there when we get there. We'll get there when we get there. I don't think there's anything on this side, though. It's a good time to check. Something for later! Again! Oh, no. How are you going to remember all this crap? Well, I'll just have to keep watching <laughs> the episodes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> re -watch my old work. Where did I say <laughs> I need to go back? <laughs> oh, there he is running again. Yep. He's just going to keep on running. I'm surprised there's no, like, superfluous trophy that says, you know, beat him in a race yeah. around the world or something like that. Well, now I think we can head on back to Kimiki Village. It takes care of everything. And uh, let's go ahead and bring Sakuya back to life. We're going to bloom that and finally bring Kimiki Village 100% back to its rightful self. So, uh, we'll see you next time. Your host, Ultra Director Jester, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Okami HD. Woohoo! Oh, wow.